Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain how to cover your butt by taking a clone of your hard drive so that you can roll back or get files that you may need in the future. Basically, take a complete drive backup. Now, in our case, the computer we're working on right this minute is being replaced with a new one. And I've copied all of the files I think I care about to the new machine. The vast majority of them go through OneDrive or through other cloud services but I still have a ton of individual files that I have stored on the machine in various places. And while I'm 99.9% .9 sure I've got it all, yeah, I'm not 100%. So how are we gonna fix that? Well, what I've got is a four terabyte USB drive here. And my hard drive is four terabyte. And the point to that is, it's large. These hard drives are super cheap, just a little USB hard drive. So let's use Macrium Reflect, which is a free tool to do the clone. Now, keep in mind, this is completely unsponsored. So if you hear us refer to Macrium or Ease Us or other products, we're not getting anything out of it. So if you would give us the big thumbs up, we'd super appreciate it. It really does help with the Google algorithms. Okay, so you can go to macrium.com slash reflect free, or you can just Google Macrium reflect free. It'll take you here. Home user, yeah, I just want the free trial because for me, this is only gonna be on it for 30 days. You have to register. Once you've done that, you'll get an email link. I've already done that. I've downloaded the product. So let's do the install and get this clone a working. Select Macrium Reflect Software Download. Yep, that's the free version. Put it in downloads, run it right away. Yes, please. Now I've seen situations where it doesn't launch by itself. So you have to launch it like I've just done. Not the first time I've seen this little micro problem personal use in my case. You don't have to register it. I don't like desktop shortcuts and I'm not going to boot from it. But while this is running, let's go through a few other bits and pieces. Uh, the very first thing you should do is terminate anything you can that's running. And I mean anything, it isn't going to help. The next thing is to clean up your disk. So right click on disk cleanup and select run as administrator. Clear out all of this junk. No point in wasting your time copying complete garbage. Also, that doesn't get a lot of temp files that I like to clear out personally, so I do it manually. See Windows temp, yep, dump them all. Yes, you can safely delete them all. All just junk, no point in keeping it. Anything that's in use, it will just safely skip. See, I missed my OneDrive here, quit OneDrive. Yep, close it and turn off your antivirus. In my case, it's Windows Defender. Go to Fire. Manage settings, real time off. It's not gonna like that, but it'll do it. There we go. Now we just wait for this cleanup to finish. And I emptied the recycle bin off camera because I deleted some things in the interim. Okay, so we have a couple of choices here. The first is to image the disk. If we image the disk, what that will do is just take a backup. I don't want to do that. I actually want to clone this entire disk and put it on this USB disk. I want my internal disk to be cloned to the external. So how do you do that? Well, click clone disk, select, select a disk to clone to, select the only other one that's there in my case. And you'll see I've got some junk on here. So how can I handle this? Well, I could use command line to get rid of these partitions or I can just delete them here. So I'm just going to delete them here. It's easier. And now just click next. No, I don't need to schedule. And before you click finish, make sure your source and destination are correct. So in my case, yes, I want to clone disk one, which is my Fangshang S884 terabyte internal SSD to an external Seagate drive. Let's click uh, finish. Yes, I want to run it now, but I don't need a backup uh, definition file cap. Okay, let's click okay. Hey, we're going to wipe this out. Yep, that's the whole point. And Macrium is using Windows Volume Shadow Copy while we're cloning it. But I will stop at this point because it isn't going to help. <laughs> I'll see you in a few minutes when this is done. All right, we're back. Four hours later, it completed about a terabyte and a half, a little more than that, actually. Let's click OK here, clear that off. It uh, popped up a message as well saying that there were no errors, that everything was happy. Click Close. That looks correct. Let's take a look at Disk Manager. 
yeah, that looks like a good clone to me. Now let's take a look at the actual drive. Yep, there's my files. Yay. So now I can safely wipe the computer out that I'm working on this very second because I can always roll back using this Macrium clone. So hey, that's that. If you found the video useful, big thumbs up and be appreciated. Subscribe's also always appreciated. Super helps with the algorithms. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.